Hi, this is Prios. Today I want to comment on the upcoming changes removing classic cards from standard play mode by bringing them into the so-called Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame means that some classic cards are now wild and can't be played in standard. The first neutral card that is going to wild is Azur Drake. I like that change, because Azur Drake was included in most decks and no other 5 drop was even considered, as Azur Drake was just better than every other option. It's a bit sad that Dragon decks might not be a thing anymore as soon as Azur Drake will come unavailable. Next card is Sylvanas Windrunner. My opinion regarding Sylvanas is bisected. On the one hand, I think it's a really strong card that is too good for its cost. On the other hand, I don't think it's as good as Azur Drake. Sylvanas also isn't that good in a super fast meta like we got at the moment, but if Blizzard plans to get a more controly meta next, banning Sylvanas is fine, as it's an overpowered card in a slow meta that would be an auto include in almost every deck. And the next card is Ragnaros. On the one hand, I don't feel that Ragnaros is that overpowered. Often it does nothing. If your opponent has a board full of weak minions, for example, or it might not even come into play if the game ends early. On the other hand, there are not many other minions in the 7 to 9 mana slot that can compete with him. Maybe it's necessary to re remove Rack from the game, allowing other 7 to 9 mana minions to shine. I will also reduce it will also reduce the RNG factor in Hearthstone, as Rack used to have a huge impact on the outcome of each game depending on where he hits. Now let's move on to the class cards. The first one is Power Overwhelming. I don't like that Blizzard removes that card. I love to play Zoo in the past. Currently, Zoo is not viable as the pirates are just too good and fast and more efficient. PO used to be a really important card in every Zoo deck. I think a better solution would have been nerfing it, as PO is a bit too strong in the current form, as it often has a huge impact on the game for small, small mana cost. For example, it, is a, it might allow a 2-1 to trade with a 6-6. It also allows for some crazy combos. For example, the Leroy Faceless combo in Reno Lock after getting cost reduced from Emperor. Another example is PO setting up a big taunt with Faceless Shambler and getting an extreme efficient trade afterwards, trading your buffed Vini into a big minion. I think the best possibility w nerfing it would have been to just give it plus 3 plus 3 instead of plus 4 plus 4. Another option would be to make it cost 2 instead of 1 mana. Next card is Icelands. On the one hand, Icelands, a ban of Icelands is complete unnecessary, as Freeze Mage is not a strong deck. I also like combo and skill decks. On the other hand, I personally still don't mind the exclusion, as I never played a lot of freeze mage, as I don't enjoy this type of playstyle. I also find it su super frustrating to play against it. Often you feel like a spectator. Spectator. In a game for the freeze mage, you often can't do much. For example, he might stall a few turns through ice block, board freezes and and or AoE until he is able to make the final push for lethal. You just can't do anything about that if he has the right cards in the right spot. For me personally, it makes the game better, but I know many Hearthstone pros would disagree with my opinion. The last card is Conceal. This exclusion was somewhat expected, however, I would have thought that actions could have been taken against Auctioneer. I think removing Conceal instead is a better solution of the Auctioneer problem. It hopefully will also lead to a more diff to more different deck types than just Miracle Rogue all the time. Banning Conceal also deals with the frustra frustrating experience facing a concealed Edwin van Cleef and or concealed questioning, questioning adventurer. Although this problem could have also been solved or at least reduced by making Conceal cost 2 mana. Unfortunately, Keeping the auctioneer probably means that still most rogue decks will be miracle rogue, unless some amazing cards will come out that help exploring new refreshing decks. I hope you liked my feedback. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a, a like or subscribe and also feel free to comment. Bye.